Welcome along fellow time travelers. This is Scott Cardinal. In this micro lesson we're going to check out the video of one of the houses on Johnny Depp's private Bahamian Island. As you likely already know this video was submitted as evidence in the Johnny Depp versus, well you know her name, trial. So let's get rolling. As we all know Johnny Depp purchased a private island in the Bahamas where he and his family and friends could go in order to escape the craziness of the world and where they could go and relax and enjoy some quiet time together. Now considering Johnny Depp's incredible wealth, one would normally expect some fantastic house to be on the island. But on the other hand, considering the chances that a hurricane could come along at any time and wipe everything out, it probably wouldn't make too much sense to go through too much trouble or expense just to be able to live in luxury. Now that being said, there are multiple living structures on the island, and this is just one of them. And it is entirely possible that there are others there that are more luxurious and maybe this one was there when Johnny Depp already purchased the island. But either way it is still there and Johnny Depp did make full use out of it. And so based on this video it seems that Johnny Depp simply made use of what he needed in order to have a comfortable shelter because the true luxury and true beauty and true enjoyment of being on this island couldn't be found with what you bring there but was found in what was already there and what nature had already provided. So the real luxury of Johnny Depp's private island is stepping outside of these doors and experiencing the beauty of everything around him. The video starts off with a shot of a wooden door with a large pane of glass and there is an open screen door which when in use allows gentle breezes to be able to blow inside. On the wooden floor is a rug with the words beat it hippie on it. The walls are painted a nice burgundy color that matches the material on a couple of wooden chairs. And you can see on the wall there are some cool framed photos and along the upper portion of the wall can be seen a bookshelf with books and lots of knickknacks. Some people might even call them tchotchkes. There is a desk in the corner with an old typewriter that looks like it might be electric. And you can see some more shelves with more books on them. And of course there are more knickknacks and tchotchkes here and there. Now let me stop for a moment and say that you might not like the way I pronounce tchotchkes. You might think that the word is tchotchkes. But my European grandmother used to say tchotchkes and she spoke Yiddish so she would know. So it seems to me that tchotchkes would be the way to say it. If you feel differently be sure to mention that in the comments below. And along the wall you can now see a beaded screen with a pretty painted island scene upon it. And right about now we've got a glimpse of a small bathroom with walls that are painted a nice light blue. And at this point we realize that this entire space is simply one large room with no walls except for the bathroom. And on the right can be seen a trunk and beyond that is a vintage looking farmhouse style metal bed frame. And above that can be seen netting which is likely used to keep bugs from flying around and landing upon anyone who is sleeping in that bed. And there's another bookshelf way above the bed which between you and me is not good feng shui but it is way up there and it's filled with more books and knickknacks and there was a frame photo above that. And beside the bed you can see a bookshelf that is used as a room divider but clearly it is not there to offer complete privacy. And then we see that there is another wooden door and this time the screen door is closed. And below that is a rug with the following words written upon it. Come back with a warrant. And opposite the sleeping area is a nice sized kitchen with teal colored cabinets and a white counter. There is also an island in the center with a wood block counter. And as you can see there are a lot of books in this place. And so just imagine being able to go to a private island surrounded by your favorite books and be able to just sit down and pour some coffee or pour some tea or a mega pint of wine and read all the books that you've been wanting to read but couldn't find the time to. This private island no doubt offers the opportunity to be able to do just that. And now we can see that there is another bookshelf and cabinets that surround a large flat screen TV. And there is a wooden coffee table and there is a comfortable sofa. 
And next we see an orange colored metal fireplace that is set upon what I guess is a cement platform covered with either slate tiles or maybe those are slate tile designs. And once again you can see a heck of a lot of knickknacks and books within close proximity. And there are more framed photos and there's a comfortable red cushion chair. And then we return to the front door where this video began and next to that can be seen a freestanding wooden hat and coat rack. And at this point you might want to watch the video again with no audio and play some of your favorite music and daydream about flying to Nassau and then taking a boat to Johnny Depp's private island and being greeted by him at the shore and getting in the golf cart with Johnny Depp as he drives through the natural surroundings and he brings you to this little house and you spend the entire day inside this quaint little cottage on Johnny Depp's private island. There is no place you need to go. There is no place you need to be. This is your place to just spend time. And then later step outside with no shoes on and walk along the sand and sit on a chair and watch the sunset go down. Each and every day of your life you should spend a little bit of time daydreaming. And at this point you've got to admit it would be absolutely wonderful if you could be Johnny Depp's guest and to be able to spend time at his private island. If you have any thoughts about this subject matter, please put them in the comments below and share what's on your mind. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.